Welcome to BN DNR's Burn Portal Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate basic navigation of the Burn Portal. Um, right out of the out of the gate, when you first log into the system, um, up here uh, where it says Burn Portal is where we will have informational messages or alert messages. Uh, there are none uh, right now, but uh, they'll be here in various colors of uh, uh, colored banners. Uh, If for any reason you need to contact support or you need some help with uh, navigating through the portal or figuring out some of the processes, this uh, question mark with a circle around it uh, will take you to our Burn Portal user guide. It's a step-by-step -step guide uh, that will show you everything from uh, creating your SAW account to uh, applying for permits, um, entering post-burn information, and uh, everything in between. Uh, you can also click on the contact support button up here, uh, which will get you um, an email address to send emails to the Burn Portal support team and also provide uh, access to the help page with this uh, user portal, uh, Burn Portal user guide. From the main page, when you first get in, uh, you're brought into the what's called the dashboard. Um, there are several layers that are up by default. Uh, navigating through the map portion of the dashboard, though, you can expand the map uh, to a full screen by clicking here. You can close the, uh, the map legend uh, by clicking on the little eye indicator or icon right here. Um, and you can switch through uh, various layers. Uh, by clicking on the sandwich stack here, uh, you can turn various layers on and off to see what uh, what type of information is out there. Uh, and you can also change the background map to uh, satellite images, to topographic maps, uh, whatever, whatever suits uh, what you're looking for. Uh, at any point in time when you're viewing the map, you can click on the map for information. It will bring up all the information of all the activated layers. Um, so if the layer is turned off, you won't be able to see the information about it. Any layers that are turned on, you can. Uh, so in this case, you can see what the uh, fire danger is since that is turned on, uh, burn bans, which there are none in effect at this point in time, uh, see what region it is, uh, and the county and the clean air agency. If there are other layers that are turned on, you can pull that information as well. You can also click on uh, any of these icons to get information about it. Um, the uh, brown icons show recently completed burns within the last two weeks. So if somebody has uh, has requested a burn and completed it, they've, they've reported how much uh, they actually got done. Uh, it will show up with one of these brown icons. Burns that are being planned in the future uh, from today out to the next two weeks that are inside our burn calendar will show up in one of the other colors. Uh, blue means it's uh, pending, um, green means it has been approved, and red means it's, uh, it's been denied and they're not supposed to burn. Um, across the top through all of the pages, uh, this gray bar will stay, um, will stay put. You'll be able to navigate through it. Uh, you can look through the region contact information for the various DNR regions. Uh, the calendar page will take you to uh, all the burn activity, so you can see which burns are um, are proposed, which ones have been comp uh, have been approved and denied, and uh, get a general idea of what kind of activity there is going on. Uh, clicking on the permits will allow you to search. Um, you can search by any number of fields or any combination of fields. Uh, you can have as many or as few of these as you want uh, and search for all the information and it will bring up um, up to a thousand records. If there's more than that, you'll need to refine your search. Uh, the same goes for burn requests. You can search for burn requests by any number of these fields, including location fields. Um, so if you're interested in a certain county or a certain region or uh, burn sizes, you can, you can look through uh, for all of those. Um, within the dashboard again, these other tabs, uh, take you to various links. Um, these are all off-site links, but uh, we have 
air quality links here. We have all the state laws for burning and uh, uh, Clean Air Act laws. Um, we have links to forecast offices from around the state, uh, links to our smoke management plan, um, as well as uh, links for whether or not you need a permit and uh, what the permit costs are gonna be uh, and various things to help you uh, with your permit application process.